Hello everyone, I just watched uh, MVP against Symbol in the GSL round of 8 and um, I personally thought Symbol's builds were like kinda weird like it was very like tricky in a way um, but like a lot was based of like early game roach based all in either like just roaches or roach baneling and um, I don't know, I just don't think that's something that is very good in uh, ZVT. I mean, there's like some like some situations where it can work. It, it worked one time on Daybreak where MVP went uh, one rack CC, then reactor Hellions, and then I think like two more racks and then another command center and double eBay. Like if your opponent, um, if your opponent doesn't go Banshee, uh, and also not uh, also doesn't go siege tank and doesn't go very unit heavy like if your opponent goes for a more unit heavy like with um, many hellions and, and like marauder marine for like an all in himself then it also doesn't work that well I think but anyway um, that kinda like uh, inspired me to make another like I guess like a teaching type video uh, about all ins and um i think first of all like um w like when you you when you well think about the game you have to like like it's important to think like uh, from a like game theory game theory perspective um uh, if you have played poker before you will probably be familiar with that and and basically um, if you always go for the same strategy and then uh, you are very exploitable or like like not the, just the same str like not exactly the same but the same type so let's say you always play like relatively safe well of course if your opponent always plays very greedy he will always have an advantage of course you can still win sometimes later on because maybe you are better at um, uh, than him but still it, it sucks to always go into like the mid game or late game with a disadvantage and so you don't want to like go for the same type of strategy all the time um, but you you have to mix it I mean that's something I guess most of you know but like that's something that you like can under like that you can get to like w if you know a bit about game theory like even if like uh, like you didn't hear that like many commentators say that all the time but um, so um, so you have to mix it up, but the problem is, and uh, right now in StarCraft, uh, like let's take the ZVT match up. Um, it's not that easy actually to mix it up from the Zerg perspective, because, like the the current standard build for Terran is basically one Rex command center, then reactor Hellions, then Banshee usually with cloak, and then third command center and double eBay or double Armory. But that build does not have like an early game weakness because <coughs> an early like Roach all in. We saw that in uh, the game on Ohana. Uh, like if you haven't watched the games, I would recommend to watch the VODs because it's actually a, a good example why you have to be very like careful with like early game all ins and ZVT because they are like extremely risky in my opinion and like you can like there's not that many builds anymore where they where you have an advantage especially because they are just they just don't work against like the super standard build and that's already like pretty bad if something like it just doesn't work at all against like like the most standard build in my opinion um on ohana i think symbol just like expanded and then he just built like eight roaches or so and went with it and uh mvp like his hellions went out of his uh, his hel first two hellions came out, went to the watchtower, killed the two links there, and then they saw the roaches coming. And then he evacuated his natural, went up the ramp where he had one bunker with two marines. The roaches didn't even kill one supply depot. They killed a couple SCVs that were repairing. They didn't kill a single hellion. Um, no, and like they didn't kill anything except for a few SCVs that were repairing. Result was at the end of when he retreated, SCV and drone count were about the same. Symbol. Um, uh, symbol uh, had no lair tech uh, going. Uh, MVP already had a, a banshee uh, producing, and uh, well, he had uh, like even work account, which is very good for Terran. And um, yes, like I, I just didn't get 
I just didn't get it because <laughs> like I, I I don't know I like especially with those like roach only all ins like I just really don't understand like what what a Zerg player is hoping for yes like if MVP went like no Marines no bunker just Hellions and then straight for Banshee maybe then it somehow works but even then like Hellions Especially when the roaches like clump up on the ramp, hellions do like some damage to to roaches. So yes, um, I, I I really don't know um, what the reasoning behind that all in was, uh, and like all, I didn't really understand the other ones all too well either. Um, I mean, yes, I know he's just hoping like to to get lucky that MVP goes for like a build that's like super greedy uh, and not safe against those all ins. But I don't know. I, I just think that's like not very good. Like I, I, I mean, you probably know that I'm not like the all inish type of person. But I still like. I always try to look for all ins, and like when I find one that I I like, I will learn it. I like. I will practice it because I think it's very important to to be good at all inning too. But yeah, I I just didn't like those, and I would not recommend you to copy them. So anyway, like um. Now about all ins more in general. Like if you want to do an all in, well, first of all, you have to think a bit like about like what kind of weakness does your opponent's build have, and um, uh, I think usually in the early game, I mean against Protoss and Terran, well, there's like the early pool, I guess like six or seven pool. Um, those uh, well, they basically work against command center first, and against Protoss they work against um, a protoss that doesn't scout um, I'm, or scouts extremely late but usually we, you can say like against uh, Terran it will work against command center first and against protoss it works against protoss players that don't scout um, you can have a follow-up um, against protoss because they just go back to their main base um, and then like go for like a gateway like couple of gateways like one two three or so and then they retake their expansion but I would generally say like you are behind in that situation you can still win but you're behind and uh, so that's not something you generally like want to aim for um, so when you um, like think about uh, like like when you want to like learn an all-in you have to think about like what weakness like uh, does the build that your opponent is going for have and um, for example, take like the standard uh, Terran build, like with the uh, Reactor Hellion, Banshees, and then three Command Center and double upgrade building. Um, <coughs> that build, in my opinion, it does not really have an early game weakness. Yes, if they don't scout, you can kill them with like a one base Roachling all in, but yes, like that works against 4GG <laughs> who just doesn't like scouting. But like most Terran players, they, they are not that greedy that they skip their scout and so yes that's something you can exploit like against someone who doesn't scout you can go for a one base all in and it works I've done that before in for an IAM qualifier actually um, but generally that you really need to know your opponent well for that um, but uh, uh, more like there's another weakness in that build uh, and I think it's uh, around the time when um, the Terran players like production starts to kick in. Um, I, I don't know the exact minute mark, but basically the Terran builds like let's say like six, eight Hellions, usually like two Banshees with Cloak, and then he upgrades from two Ebays, has three Command Centers, and then he starts to put on many Barracks. He has Stim researching, and then uh, like the production starts to kick in. But if you go for very fast two base Lair, uh, Mutas, and then Baneling Speed. Uh, you actually have a timing that hits um, uh, before his production kicks in and before uh, his stim is done. And um, that's like, I think, a way better all in. I actually saw that uh, from Linok. He, he had like very low drone count, actually, like um, below 40 drones. Maybe that was because some Hellion, some got killed by Hellions. He played that at MLG against the STC. And. Uh, here, like STC, even though Linux was on two bases, STC still played like the normal greedy build. Like he just like went for like the pre-planned build basically to get the two E base, the three command centers, and he had like like almost no units that um, uh, that are like really good in a straight up fight. Like Hellions and Banshees, 
are like more like harassment and hit and run units, not so much like straight up fighting units against Mutaling Baneling. And so he just died to Mutaling Baneling. And um, I actually think that's a, a, a timing you can learn. And I I think that's uh, better than going for a Roach Baneling all, all in, like crossing your fingers that your opponent doesn't go Banshee. But unfortunately, like people just go Banshee like almost every game nowadays. Um, uh, so yes, um, that that's like one uh, like one weakness I know, and in general, like Terran, it like there is not that many weaknesses uh, in um, uh, like Terrans. Like like the weaknesses are more like oftentimes they are more like player specific. For example, people that don't scout, you can one base them, or there's people that don't wall in. <laughs> that's another funny thing. Like against those people, you can go for like mass ling all ins or stuff like that. But generally, like, against people that don't do, like, crazy shit and, like, don't wall in for whatever reason. I mean, there's people who just like to lose sometimes because there's links running into their base. Um, but against, like, people who don't, like, aren't, like, overly crazy, like, really, there's not that many options. And um, so, like, even if you see, like, people in GSL actually do, like, those Rage Roach Bane all in fairly often, I think you should not be copying... Uh, those, I mean, you can, you should learn them, like play it a few times, make your own experience. But generally, I think it's very big gamble. And like, when you are like starting uh, uh, to get a bit better, and like you are in masters, I think it's better to really learn like builds that work against like what most people are playing at your level and well at higher levels. And right now, that's basically Hellion Banshee into um, into Bio Tank or into Mech. And against that, like a like a more like a early mid game timing, uh, is something that works m much better than like the the weird ass um, Roach Baneling all ins. Um, some more points uh, about all ins. Um, it's very important that you are decisive with them. Like when you uh, when you already build super many units, and then you're standing in front of your opponent's base, you see two bunkers, and then you are getting like a bit like scared. Like, do I really want to attack into that? Like, you don't want to ask yourself those kind of questions. You just attack. Because if you don't, then the game is as good as lost. And if you are attacking, well, maybe your opponent makes, like, a control mistake. Maybe, actually, like, your units, are, like, will actually do better than you are thinking. Just, just go with it. Um, uh, I've oft often seen, like, people go for an all-in, and then, like, they get scared. They wait, like, 10 seconds more, give their opponent uh, time to finish more bunkers or stuff like that, and then they attack and they uh, they lose, or they go back and well then they lose too. Um, uh, so yes, if you want to all in, you really need to be decisive. And in order to like have that decisiveness, I think it's very important to practice the all ins that you want to do many times. Um, I mean, you often like hear like some pros say. Um, that like all ins like they take no skill and and blah blah blah. I mean, you <laughs> yeah, I guess you've heard Itra say that, uh, but actually I think it's it's not as simple as as uh, as some might think. Um, <coughs> so if you um, if you want to have some all ins, like in your repertoire of strategies, um, you should definitely have practiced them quite a few times, because if you suddenly have like play against a player that is better than you. And then you think like, oh, I don't really want to go into a macro game. I want to try to all in him. But if you have never practiced that all in many times, then like even if you are lucky and you actually have like a build order win and like you should win, but because you don't have the necessary experience, then in the end you, you end up like making like one, two small mistakes on the way somewhere. And then actually it doesn't, it end up, ends up not working or it only bare, like kind of works and it turns into a longer game and then you don't even uh, don't have the experience what you do if the all in like does a lot of damage but doesn't kill your opponent uh so you you really need that experience um and not only play the all ins like when you play against someone who is like uh, quite a lot better than you and then well they will win even if they shouldn't because they they uh, you are just not good at executing your all in um uh, another point um don't all in just because like you really want to like uh, have like some sort of like knowledge about your opponent i mean this doesn't count for ladder of course on ladder you just want to like all in just to see against what 
against which builds does it work and against which builds not. But like in an important situation, I would recommend recommend not to just all in just because like do it because you like noticed something for example in the first game of a series um, uh, that your opponent um, does this and that like um, and that there's a, like an, an opening uh, way that you can exploit and, and not just like blindly go for it and just like hope for the best basically I think that's um, that's kind of a desperation tactic I mean it can work obviously but mm, I think it's generally um, not that good Mm. Yes, uh, one more point uh, before I'm done with this video. Um, I, gu I guess this is like mostly about like early pools. Uh, basically, when you go for an all-in, don't worry too much about uh, about like transitions. <coughs> um, for example, if you go for an early pool, and you are like you think like a ten pool like usually works. Maybe it's better to go for like a nine pool or an eight pool, um, for example against command center first. Like I, I t I'm not saying ten pool doesn't work. It's like that's just an example, I guess. The thing is, uh, if the more economic your all in is, the mo uh, the higher the likelihood that it uh, like the all in itself actually doesn't do that much. And so mm, I think it's better to uh, have like uh, be less economic with your all in and make sure it ends up working even maybe if you make a small like micro error like one time or so during it because well that just happens sometimes and um like no one is perfect and uh, so I think you need to have like a bit of room and like don't make it like too like uh, close uh, because then in the end you make like one small mistake and then actually you had a build order win in theory but because you made one small mistake it ended up not uh, working and then well you you basically lost a game that you should have won and so uh, if you end up with a disadvantage if your all in doesn't work then I think it's better if that disadvantage is bigger uh, but your all in works for sure when you actually have a build order win um, so basically uh, what I'm trying to say is, uh, it's I think it's bet it's better to sacrifice like have worse economy uh, in the cases where your all in doesn't work, but to always win when your all in should work instead of like the all in not always working but having better economy when it doesn't work, uh, because like um, like if you're already behind then um, of course maybe you are a bit less behind but uh, I think it's really like you you uh, should already be losing all the cases where it doesn't w like where it didn't work and I, I think uh, that the trade off is not very good like to to like care too much about like the cases where it doesn't work like you should just like mainly think about the cases where you're all in should work and make sure that it actually ends up working in those cases uh, for example like when you're like building like shortly before you start building units for for example like a roach bane all in even if i don't like that so much don't squeeze in like an extra drone or, or two and like think like oh but if I build like a few drones more here or then like while you're building units oh maybe I can squeeze in one more drone like that's just nonsense just build units and, and go for it and don't think too much about what will happen afterwards because if it doesn't work then you are probably fucked anyway um, yeah I think that's that's it for all ins today mm. I mean like I I I'm not too happy uh uh with the um, with the current state of like uh like possible all ins for Zerg but you should have some uh, uh, like all ins up your sleeve. Uh I hope you like this format. Please uh, as always subscribe if you like uh, my channel, leave some comments, tell me uh, what you think and um yeah, another video should be coming soon. Goodbye.